home truly rare talk to cynthia we still haven't found cynthia maybe we will find her after we do this next piece with the council or the summit or whatever is happening all of these other areas we've kind of explored leave the royal court it's a brazen oh. attack here she is right here cynthia we've been wanting to meet up with you we need to talk of course hmm let's talk about first her her efforts in chapter two was it in vergen you had me fooled back in vergen that sweet face of yours never suspected it could belong to someone who fanatically believes in conquering the north mock me if you must but I truly believe one huge empire is humanity's only hope. Many nations under one crown, with shared laws, advanced science, burgeoning industry and trade, and no wars, of course. Sounds great. Let me know when it works out. I'd gladly spend my old age in a land like that. Except it's unlikely. These ruins must hold many secrets. I'm certain of that. It was a beautiful city, a city full of talent and hope. But that it'll ended with the coming of the Nordling armies. Think the city would have survived if those armies had been Imperial? Your king started the war with the Enshe. Nilfgaard's relations with the elves have always been peaceful. Have they? It really did a job on your brain. That was an interesting adventure, Cynthia. Yes, people bond over experiences like that. Yeah, kind of makes you wonder what happened back in Vergen. Did you get your promotion? Not yet, but His Imperial Majesty rewards dedication. Can he discern the truth from lies? What do you mean? I take it the Emperor has no idea his sorceress helped a mutant kill a Nilfgaardian mage. Mm. It was a dangerous expedition. Casualties were inevitable. He'll content himself with that. Got time to talk? Or are you off on another dangerous mission? Even yeah. Even Nilfgaardian agents rest sometimes. Used the artifact yet? I'm working on improving it. I think it'll be useful one day. I found some of Derenna's notes. He studied the history of the Vrans, right? Among other things. He makes several mentions of an epidemic. Loch Muin conceals many more secrets than we imagined. I doubt we'll ever know all of them. Well, if Derenna's to be trusted, the epidemic had something to do with the Enshe. Maybe the Vrans caught the disease from the elves. I'm no expert on diseases, Witcher. Who knows? Perhaps Dare Henna was right, and the decline of Rani civilization was much darker and more sudden than we thought. Okay, so if we remember, the Vrans were the original race who built this city. Now, it's all in ruins now, but it was originally built by the Vrans a long time ago, who may have been some kind of lizard people. Um, that was something hinted at in the last session, right? Anyway, um, they eventually declined and the Enshe came and rebuilt and inhabited. So the elves came in and rebuilt over the top. And it was implied by, I think, either reading some notes or talking to Yorvith. I think maybe it was Yorvith implied that actually it's when the Vrans, um, uh, made contact with the humans. When the humans first came along, their diseases wiped out the Vrans. And the humans had nothing to do with the city. The Enshe, the elves came and moved in and set up. And then eventually the humans assaulted the city, burnt everything down to eradicate the elves. So humans still bad in Witcher universe. But she's implying, or these notes and Cynthia are implying that maybe the Vrans were actually wiped out from diseases caught or influenced by the elves, the Enshe. Maybe the humans had nothing to do with it. Maybe the humans never came here until they wiped out the elves from the city and left it in ruins like it's in now. We don't know. We don't know yet. You knew what we'd find in that laboratory. Come we found in. a book, you that's right. The bacteria strains that killed the Vrans, or more precisely, Derhenna's notes from his research into them. Ah, this yes. This is very dangerous knowledge. I suspect that's exactly why the Emperor is so interested. The North is in chaos. An epidemic is the last thing you need. And one could break out if Dare Henna's book fell into the wrong hands. 
Fortunately, it's now in the right hands. In Emir's civilized and manicured hands. Precisely. That's right, because there was a book in there that had a lot of Dahena's research on what wiped him out, which looks like to be some sort of strange, specific, deadly bacteria slash disease. So that's probably why they were sent there in the first place, to try and learn about it, and we suspect that maybe the Emperor wants to weaponize it. Hmm. I'm finding it hard to believe anything you say. Did you come here to insult me? Uh, no. Sorry. Don't say sorry. What yes. What exactly do you want? I was curious. I wanted to see which Cynthia I'd meet this time. The spy, Syphilis. the sorceress, or maybe the woman. Which were you hoping to meet? The real one. Let's assume you're speaking to her. How do you like her? Let's say I like her quite a bit. That's Compliments are clearly not your forte. I just told you why I've come. Care to tell me why you invited me? Let's say I was interested to see which Geralt would show up. And? There's a lot of flirting going on. Obviously, we're going to go along with it. And there we go. She is completely naked. <laughs> Uh, Grizz, there you go. Yep, we are definitely getting a new card slash scene. <sighs> well, that turned around considering we killed her initially last session. Some of these scenes go for quite a while too. Two. It's on twice. Yeah. <laughs> well, that definitely escalated, right? That's not what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> Bang the Nilfgaardian spy that actually caused some trouble in Act 2, Chapter 2. And all you can see is the shiny things to collect. <laughs> Got it right. Women of the South are both passionate and clever. I like to improvise. Yeah, I noticed. Farewell, Cynthia. Vafael. Vafael. Why are you speaking Elvish? You're not an elf. So did that actually, it did, it did complete our quest about that book. All right, and if gravel, gravel rash. It's <laughs> all right, have you seen Geralt's uh, scars? I don't think he's worried about a little bit of grazing. He'll heal fast enough. We'll put our back here. Yeah. Geralt will put his back out. Can we talk any further, Cynthia? All right, let's follow up the Summit of Mages. Talk to Triss before entering the amphitheater. Alone on a sorceress's, oh, sorry, alone on a sorcerer's summit, the Witcher would feel like a raftsman on a declament contest. Luckily, Triss Marigold awaited him at the amphitheater's entrance. Let's make our way through then. Let's talk to Triss. See what's going to unfold, some more political stuff. I'm assuming there's some other content yet to unfold in this chapter. Double check that these saves are sticking. They are. They are still working. Excellent. Beatrice, never mind what I was doing. Good that you're <laughs> here. We don't have much time. Seems you, like we never do. Clean your face up. First we have to get by the guards. Leave that to me. Be careful. I'm always careful. Hmm. <laughs> We're not though, Geralt. <laughs> All right. So over here is. Oh, that's right. I wanted to see what those people were talking about. Beat the soldiers and enter the major summit. Talk to these people first, can we? Prepare for your final lesson. Hmm. Final. But I'll have no discussion. This will be a practical object lesson. You'll learn what a sorceress can never agree to under any circumstances. 
that. Good day, Geralt of Rivia. Mm -hmm. Greetings. Oh, we can't talk any further. She knows who we are. Greetings. Greetings. Leave me alone. Oh, relax. Prepare for your final lesson. Final? Who are these two then? I'll have no Leona. I'm Elona, the bearded she-elf. Bearded? Bearded? Don't be a child. We came here to perform, but this place is a circus in itself. Nobody's interested in us, so we're on to plan B. Trade. What do you sell? Food. Fresh. Very good. You want to buy something, or are you waiting for my beard to grow out? Fine. I'll bite. Show me your beard. I'll pay your full performance fee. That'll be 200 orans. Damn. All right, show me. <laughs> We've got the cash. I want to know what the hell she's talking about, beard. You're an elf. Elves can't even grow beards, I don't think. This will be a practical object lesson. You'll learn what a sorceress can never agree to under any circumstances. not work? You want to buy something, or are you... Give me a beard. Fine. That'll be 200 or... I did it. Bye. You want to buy not do it? Oh, hang on. Bye. Hang on. She's wearing a beard now. She, <laughs> she does have a beard now. Or are you ah. waiting for my beard to grow out? Uh, okay. I don't know what happened, but anyway, we see she has a beard. Maybe it's magic. Maybe it's a stick on. I don't know. We wasted 200 gold on that. Well done. Did a double beard payment. Did I? I only paid one gold the second time though, right? I think. Hopefully. How much gold have we got? Yes. I think it's right. 8,900. Yeah. All right. Who are you? Greetings. Tell us. Here to see the show. It's cancelled indefinitely. We're now in the services sector. What service do you provide? I was once a good swordsmith, or at least it looked like I might be. A riot came through, took my workshop with it, but the skill remained. I actually prefer swallowing swords to hammering them, but that upsets my wife. <laughs> my best. You can do so yourself. She's a loner, the bearded she-elf. Ah, and how's life with a bearded she-elf? Pretty normal. We don't generally bring our work home with us. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Come back and see the show one day. Oh, we've seen the show. Saw her beard. It wasn't impressive with the chafing it, imagine. Swallowing swords, name of your sex tape. Ah, uh, Grizz is on the money. The Kingslayer, get him! Oh shit, we are fighting him, are we? I would like to just knock you guys out or just have a peaceful resolution. I don't want to fight soldiers that aren't bad guys. All right, what do you got? Hm. Might have tried to reason with them. They wouldn't go this way. Trust me. Path's clear. Can we go? We couldn't talk to them. Anyway. Yeah, let's go. Everything will be revealed at last. Maybe you can axe them, but uh, it still forces you to be Whether in Whether you like it or not, John Natalis, Tamaria will be divided. For the good of the entire North. The united forces of Kedwin and Redania will end the fighting among the Elder Houses and secure peace from Gorsvelen to Elendor. At present, Temeria is starting to resemble the Pontar Valley. Which, if I understand correctly, is currently controlled by Edern. You are mistaken, Radovid. Vergen is free. Free? What precisely does that mean? Lormark is not Kedwin's, and Eden no longer controls Upper Eden. We have rejected Prince Stennis. King Stennis. And handed King Henselt's army a resounding defeat. That's Your true, we did that. My dear lass, are nothing but a motley array of rebellious peasants and elven brigands. Sooner or later, they will need to swear allegiance to someone, or they will be defeated and dispersed. The peoples of the Pontar Valley will swear allegiance to me, Queen Saskia. Ah. As an independent realm, we hereby speak in favour of reconstituting the council and conclave. You're a lovely girl, but you wish you from common stock. The sole crown you are worthy of donning is a wreath woven of wildflowers. 
Redania will recognize no other coronation. In that case, you must choose King Radovid. Will you carve up to Meria? Or march on the Pontar Valley? Henselt, last of the line of the unicorns, has sworn to recognize the Pontar Valley as a free realm. Philippa Eilhart witnessed it. Uh, uh, uh. Philippa Eilhart is in my dungeon, awaiting trial for treason. She was in your dungeon, Radovid, but is no longer. She will sit at my side in Vergen as my royal advisor. And enter Geralt and Triss. Let's fuck up the politics. What do you reckon, Triss? To the matter at hand. The document describing the charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the charter found in the ruins on Thaned Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisers. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisers? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed, as well as by all but one of the designated advisers. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisers to cowherds at most. That is true, Your Majesty. So they're trying to assign Sheila the mages. Sheila should never be allowed to sign this document. Triss Merigold, you decided to join us after all. De Tanserville has royal blood on her hands. She can't sit on the Conclave. That is a lie. Have you anything to support these claims, Merigold? There are witnesses who will confirm that Sheila de Tanserville was behind the assassinations of Demavend and Foltest. Officials of the future Council and Conclave. Sheila de Tanserville should be arrested and tried. If Triss Merigold speaks the truth, Lady de Tanserville will be condemned to death. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, but what's going to happen next, though? Oh, the Order of the Flaming Rose. They were under Radovid's employ at the moment, I think, right? Sheila de Tanserville. Until Triss Marigold's charges are dismissed or refuted, you cannot sit on the Conclave. Arrest her. So Triss should have shut up, you reckon, Elvin? Yeah, so the mages were trying to assign uh, who... You don't know the whole truth. Marigold doesn't know what she's talking about. Maybe. But they're trying to assign the mages to the relevant rulers, right? There's like, yeah, and I'm sure you've done that strategically to keep your own organisation. Is that Saskia? What the hell's going on? Is this another dragon? Why is the dragon defending Sheila? Do we not know everything? Where's Saskia? Is she still there? Okay. She's gone. We don't know where Philippa Eilhart is. Is that Sa It is Saskia, you say, Elvin. Okay, Saskia has... I'm confused. We're trapped. Magic's no good here. I can't get us out. Sheila, you have to get Sheila. Okay, duly noted. That's what we're doing then. Can we? I bet you. Oh, we can. All right. To be safe, let us. Oh, we've reached maximum level, by the way. We are now. Maximum level of 35. It's the highest level um, Geralt can get. You think Sheila saved Philippa and used the Earth spell on Saskia? Aha, yes, because Philippa is free, apparently. We suspect Sheila is now controlling Saskia. Oh, wow. 
Saskia is so easily controlled at the moment, it seems. I'm gonna defeat the dragon. Don't make me kill Saskia. She seemed like an actually good person when she's not under control. By the way, this is the final quest, really? All right. Is this coming to an end faster than anticipated? Don't tell me what to do. You can't stop me. Not you, not anyone else. Oh, let's find out. Off we go. Okay, no way back. If I have to, I will kill you. We've got to actually defeat a dragon in dragon form. Yeah, it's lovely dragon, Sheila. God damn it. No! Oh, there she is. You're late. I've already managed to stabilize the portal. You've got nowhere to run. Sooner or later, somebody will find you. I prefer to leave on my own terms. Where's Letho? Sir Synthesis will turn to him. As she will to all the fools who get a hard on at the mere thought of burning a sorceress at the stake. Where is he? I don't know, fool. I've been looking for him since Foltest's assassination. Letho cheated all of us. We were deceived by his dull face and sluggish stare. Don't you understand? The Lodge sought a way to get rid of Demavend, that's true. He was a weak, volatile king. Edurn would eventually choke to death under his rule. We chose the lesser evil. He had to be eliminated, and Letho happened to be at hand. Voltest? Right. Henselt? We had nothing to do with that. After assassinating Demavend, Letho used our gold and magical support to find and meet Yorveth. The elf was to help him hide until the matter blew over, or so I thought. The Lodge did not condemn Voltest to die. Then Interesting. Nilfgaard. <laughs> Letho is the King of Liars and Emperor of Traitors. From the start, he worked for the glory of the great sun and the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. He lied to everyone. Me, your vet, your stupid little Triss, and you. Got any evidence? A moment ago, I received a message from the Lodge's agent in Sintra. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're fording the Yoruga now. Do you think the North can defend itself in the current situation? And can you count on another miracle at Brenna? I don't know. But you made it all possible, and you'll answer for that. The stigma of treason is yours for all time. We shall see. For no one will leave this city alive. No one will tell this story. Philippa controls the dragon. As soon as I disappear, it will turn the city into a flaming tomb. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just beginning. You, however, shall not take part in it. This is your end, Witcher. Uh. Farewell! Something's not right! The diamond! Someone replace the diamond! This one's flawed! I'll be torn to bits! Geralt, remove it! I, I, I clicked you it. waited long enough. Should you survive, go south. To Nilfgaard. Where you'll find Yennefer of Vengerberg. Farewell, Witcher. I took the crystal, Elvin. I did it. I'm assuming she explodes otherwise. Oh, we've still got to defeat Saskia. Oh, ho, 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 just dodge that shit a brick. How the hell are we meant to do this? All right. So, Elvin, uh, you've summed it up. So the Nilfgaardians were behind it all along. So the lodge, the little mini special inside circle of sorceresses, condemned Demovan to be killed because he was a terrible king. Uh, and introducing volatility. Triss was unaware because the Lodge didn't trust her. Okay. And then Letho's used the resources he gained to wipe out uh, Foltest and then went after the likes of Henselt as well. But been foiled. And all of this was under Nilfgaardian influence. And we did see a lot of evidence... In the other stuff we were exploring and the notes that we read and that stupid ambassador 
with all the stuff they were trying to do. <sighs> Alvin, you wanted her DS. A DS? What? Oh, don't get burnt. Geralt, get the sword out. Start fighting the fucking dragon. Can we slap it? Yes, we can a little bit. You stink. Oh, now the tower's really destroyed. I don't know how we're... Quen, I guess. We have our potions on, so that was a wise decision. But... There's still a lot of... Health to be done. Roly poly. Okay, more Quen. It's, it's, oh, you wanted her dead. Oh, you wanted... You wanted Sheila dead. Well, if Sheila's telling the truth, she's not as bad as we thought. Still a bit bad. But does that mean she shows up in The Witcher 3 if we kept her alive? Told us about where to find Yennefer. We care about finding Yennefer, right? Oh, climb the dodgy tower. Not as nice as wanting the dress, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I cannot save it this time either. Well, that's annoying. Swords out, girl. Come on. So we also didn't get that other flashback memory. I'll have to assume it's unlocked and can play it in the... Well, we're dead. In the, um... The game menu. So she still conspired against her king. Still a bish. Yeah, I agree. She's still not a good person. But she's not responsible for everything that's happened to Geralt. That's what we care about most, right? <laughs> okay, so we need our health to regen. Kill more, die less, rug dragon's belly for achievements. Oh yeah, I wish. What does our quest log say? There is no other things here. Okay, after fighting the magically controlled dragon like Moeen, Geralt finally got Sheila to Tanzerville. This time Geralt allowed her to flee, knowing that her deeds would soon be widely known and the sorceress was done for. Enter the dragon. Geralt ran for Sheila to Tanzerville as fast as they could carry him. He could hear the sorceress's voice in his head, and the more she said, the more he wanted to silence her. Yet Sheila held one more trump card, the dragon, which is still actually being controlled by Philippa. Philippa is still alive, although blinded. All right. We get the memory back in the epilogue. Thank you, Elvin. That is good. Why is our health still coming back crazy slow? We've got five talent points to spend as well. We're not even using Axie. Where's... Is there a Quen? How do we... Up, have we got a Quen to upgrade? An up, well, all right, let's do that one. We do use Quen a bit. Also Quen... Nope, this is Axie. Ard. Sign intensity, yes. More sign intensity. Not that we're going to use these now, but anyway. What's this one? More vigor. There we go. All talent points are spent. We still cannot save. Well, even if I wait here for our health to regen, we can't save again anyway. So we're just going to be loading when we die. Okay, Quen up. Poor Saskia. Well, we just missed every single move we tried then, Geralt. That's a fail. Can we... Throw some daggers at the dragon. Yeah, let's piff a bunch of daggers. And slowly whittle it down. Where did you go? Oh, no. Doing the dance. Oh, that's a fail. I feel like I'm doing this. Geralt doesn't hunt dragons, correct? Although, it's not his fault if the dragon's attacking him. Oh. Ooh, 
Oh shit, that was very sneaky. Well played. Oh, and again. Not this time. Hit the dagger. Oh man. Burning through so many Quen shields. Okay, now she's doing a swoopy swoop. No, you don't. Drop it. Oh, we're still not doing enough damage. Dragon is, though. Um, shields are up. Hit a dagger. All right, that worked a little bit. Oh, you're not coming up behind us. No, no, no. Oh, what is that? A tail? A tail whip. I see you. <laughs> Where are you now? Oh, I can't dodge roll out of that. Guess they'll never learn. Why aren't we throwing... Don't oh, run out of daggers. All right, throw these ones then. When? Oh, uh, we're taking more damage than the dragon is. Well, the daggers are doing little bits of damage. Every time we go near that toothy grin to try and chop it, we get hit. Let's just keep rolling out of the way. Our Quen is still up. Watch out for the swoop. Oh, the swoop still got us. Okay, more daggers in the face. Silver daggers too. You can see why the dragon is destroying it. Yeah, well, they're not rubbing the tummy tums out, Chris. <laughs> Hit her in the head when she bites. Okay. I'm trying... Ah. Getting body slammed doesn't help. This may take us a couple of goes. Oh, come on, I dodged that. So when she does that, that's when I'm supposed to chop. Oh, cool spinny moves, Geralt. He didn't hit anything though. Oh, fail again. Ah, fire. Burnt my shield away. Alright, that worked a bit better. Don't get too greedy, Geralt. Alright, yep, yep, that worked. Good tips, Elvin. Ooh, didn't Geralt you lose a silver sword trapping a, Scar uh, a, a dragon at the start of the game? Yeah, that's kind of weird, because you think you lose your sword, but then he's just got it again, so I don't know what happened there. But we find more swords over the course of the game anyway. Oh, hang on. We're out of those daggers. Let's throw some of these. <laughs> Our... Oh, yes, dodged it finally. That tail I have not successfully dodged until now. All right. Oh, what do we got now? Quick time events. Finishing. Come on, Saskia. Break out of it. Lomo jump stab and fly away. Oh, okay. This would not be easy. Much danger. Oh, I better check in case I need to do. Need to be ready in case I need to do quick time events. Oh, use the trophy hook. Smart. Dragon impaled on a log. Oof. 
Did a loop the loop, hell yeah. At a crash land. And a death. A, de a deadism. I do, f do feel for her. She wasn't a good person until she was spellbound. And we are now miles away from the summit. Kill the dragon or walk away? I don't want to kill it. I want to free it. Right in the dragon booby, yeah. Not killing it. Walk away. Geralt does not want to kill dragons in general. This one is spellbound. And also this one actually is a good, well, was a good person. And if he can survive being impaled like that, that's impressive. Put her out of the misery and bright, but I'm hoping she recovers and is free. The list of the lodges sorceresses. The list of the whores you'll help us find. Why is there no voice? Philippa's finding her way out. She can be cured but forgot how, okay. Philip, oh, they've stolen some money from Nilfgaardian dead soldiers. Philippa is in trouble. Are they gonna do anything? Wouldn't mess with the sorceress, even if she's blind. It was a mousy mouse. Oh, she can sense it. All right, yep, they're not going to mess with her. Oh, too late. They're dead. Just going to take their eyes. At least that's what I would do. Yeah. Grab their eyes and use magic to... Fix your own or replace your own, maybe. More dead soldiers, and everyone's just leaving, is it? Because this is a, a rendered video clip, too. Uh, this is like a pre rendered cutscene. This is. Not as. It's not like scripted renders, like in-game renders like before but this is the mage boss guy or the representative guy they said you will help us find these lodge members which includes Triss apparently everyone's gone home lock marine doors shut now what good job Triss way to trigger a witch hunt and purge <laughs> So can it happen differently if you don't rescue Triss? What's going on? We're in the epilogue. How long is the epilogue? Should we save this? Or, oh, Triss is here. Is it a short epilogue, Elvin? Do you remember? Oh, and kisses and hugs. Yay. Are you all right? More or less. And the dragon? Dragoness. Saskia's alive. Wounded and weak from loss of blood, but alive. The spell is still working. Unimportant. As long as Saskia lives, there's hope that we can break it. Besides, I don't kill dragons. Philip's like Rich said. Give up such a powerful weapon. Triss, please understand. The last thing I want to do is slaughter one of the most beautiful creatures I've ever seen. Saskia is good incarnate. She's the mm. exact antithesis of Eilhart and your former friends. They should be punished. Yes. You're right. I just wanted. I know what you wanted, and you're probably right in some way. But this time, logic and calculation are unimportant. If we have even the slimmest chance of breaking the spell and freeing Saskia, we need to try. Let's get out of here. I guess Letho got away. He's waiting for you. Waiting? What? Mm. Where the Temerians made camp. Come on. <laughs> what? What do you mean, waiting? How do you know? Utter chaos broke out after the dragon attacked. I tried to reach Philippa's quarters. A terrified man approached me in one of the alleys, gave me a letter and begged me not to harm him. He said it was for you. The letter was short. I'm waiting in the Temerian camp, Letho. 
What happened here while I was gone? All the kings had many more armed men than they should have had at a peace summit. During the evacuation, several skirmishes broke out. The Kedwenis clashed with the Temerians. The Order's knights raped two sorceresses and killed those who dared try to help them. Do you think the Council the and will survive? Well, they're established, and that's the only thing that prevented a wholesale massacre. Hard to say if they'll survive, but for the time being, no one's got any better ideas. Mages are part of this world, whether people like it or not. They have to have their rights, their place. Otherwise, another lodge will arise. Yeah, well, that's fucked, isn't it? Don't like hearing about those events. So, Elvin, so, um, uh, Geralt says that Saskia is good incarnate. And you're like, bro, we barely know her, anything you don't know. But we do know a bit about her. She was trying to create a, 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 a new state with equal rights for humans and non-humans where everyone can get along and not be oppressed by dickhead rulers and she's done a lot to fight for that so i do agree with Geralt. that's what i was saying earlier she she was trying to do good things noble things in honorable ways as well i i agree with Geralt. she does seem to be good so i want to free her from the spell but the question is now, we've got the epilogue to play through. Do we... I'm inclined that we save this for next session, where we can then recap on some of the events and make sure we understand all of the story. But I don't know how long the epilogue is. The prologue was lengthy enough. I assume the epilogue might be also lengthy enough for us to... Have a separate stream session considering we're like five minutes till we really need to wind up anyway so i think we will pause there that has been one hell of a story finish so far oh we should finish now it's pretty short 10 minutes says elvin <laughs> chris says you're sleepy and would like to watch later well if it's only 10 minutes let's jump in now then because there's no point doing a stream for 10 minutes. Let's find out. Which way? This way? This where we're going? You can do 10 more, Grizz. So can I. I can survive 10 more. And if it's longer than that, we will blame Elvin. <laughs> I may proceed. Thank you, Grizz. Very noble. Who are these guys? Oh, that's an elf. He looks... Almost like Yorvith. Has he got a bung eye? He does. Oh, bollocks. The whore son's in agony. Won't be long now. Ooh. Look at that. The cleverest of elven bandits, beaten burnt like ordinary scum. This is the handiwork of some mage. I'd wager my wife on it. You shouldn't have taken that trinket. You know they'll ask what he had on him. And you'll not peep a word. Understand? What did you steal? Hey you, piss off, we've got a dangerous prisoner here. Mm-hmm. Hmm. A prisoner? Did you capture him? None of your concern, buzz off, freak. Some of our concern. Any idea what happened to Roach? Yes, Radovid tried to buy him off. I'm sure you can guess Roach turned him down. Some things will never change. Tamaria might not be on the map of the North much longer, but as long as men like Roach are around, there is hope for its rebirth. Don't pin that mess on me. I don't intend to. You asked. And we talk to him. Talk to these guys. Piss off, I said! I'm warning you for the last time. Yeah. I smell a Tamarian. I don't want to free Yorvith. Well, that's a door to open. The roach cannot be... Ah! Yeah, there it is. Oh, and we've got Triss fighting as well. <laughs> yeah, you're all going down. Traitor? We're no traitor. We're not allied with Kendwin. Right. Want to tell me what that was about? It's <laughs> Yorvith. I owed him that much. I guess I missed quite a bit. Yeah. Can you help him? 
Uh, I'm sorry, Geralt. This was high magic. Treating him will take time, maybe months. I'm gonna miss the Kingslayer again. Stay with him, Triss. I'll be back for you when this is over. Geralt. I don't want you to get hurt. I can take care of myself. Not this time. I need to talk to him alone. The magic shield came down when the deliberations ended. I'll teleport Yorveth out of here, far away to Vergen. All right. Take care of yourself. Good plan. Hopefully you can do it, Triss. Yes. Yeah, we're still going, Rich. Um, my YouTube feed I can see playing back is still working, so I'm not sure what's dropped off your TV, but it should still be going. Restart or relaunch it on your TV, maybe. Um, okay, so we've got all these little magical barriers up. Oh, and that looks like a boss behind there somewhere, but this is the way forward, is it? What's in this door? Locked. Very good. Save and continue. Although the arrow points that way. So we're meant to go this way, are we? Subtle hints from the magic barriers pointing us towards Letho. Okay, what's out here? More dead people. A lot of chaos did ensue. Oh, more dead bodies they're disposing of. Fair enough. Hello, mages. This is no place for witches. Though I know you and you appear wherever something important happens. True, though sometimes by accident. And this time, also a coincidence? Let's say I have something to take care of. In that case, hurry. Once we're done cleaning up this mess created by the royal soldiery, Loch Muin will be magically sealed. Getting out of here? Temporarily. We shall return soon enough to rebuild the city. Loch Muin will regain its former glory. Until that time, we need to keep the treasure hunters and troublemakers out. So Radovid trusts you? We shall win His Royal Majesty's trust by delivering Sheila de Tanserville and the other traitresses from the Lodge. That could take a while. Sheila's fled Loch Muin via Megascope. We have time. She cannot hide forever. Sooner or later, she will be ours. Forgive me, I must attend to some matters. And don't dawdle. The city will be sealed in one hour. One hour! Fair enough. Oh, that's a nifty power. Teleport, fast travel. At least in The Witcher 3, we finally do get some fast travel again. Um, we're picking up more crafting materials which we don't need, including um, augments for our swords and weapons, which I never used in this playthrough. I didn't augment anything. <laughs> oh, well, didn't need it. There he is. The big, muscly, bald git sitting on the edge in what was the Temerian camp. Oh, there's loot over here first.